Balance. The What's Going On reader is looking for balance, for explanations, for mirroring, for solutions, for hope, for ways to write and draw their own stories. Introducing two picture books, Scribble and Author by Miri Leshem Pelly and Albert and Little Henry by Jazz Alboro. Hi everybody, my name is Miri Leshem Pelly and I'm an author and illustrator. I have published 13 children books so far and I'm also the regional advisor of the SCBWI chapter in Israel. And I'm very excited to introduce to you my new book, Scribble and Author. This book is written as a dialogue between Scribble, which is a scribble, and the author who created her. The book begins like this. A color spot, some fancy lines, and here you are, Scribble. Scribble is walking in the path of story, passing through three gates. The gate of the beginning leads her to a peaceful shore. The gate of the middle leads her to a place of adventure and challenge. And the gate of the ending reveals an unexpected surprise. And. Um, Scribble is not only interacting with the author by talking, but she can also use his drawing tools, which are photographs of real objects, such as pencil, brush, and papers. Scribble uses them in most creative ways. For example, when Scribble needs to cross the river of questions, she snaps a page out of the author's notebook, folds it into a paper boat and sails across the river. So if you would like to know how Scribble succeed to climb the mountain of challenge or survive the slope of fears, or what does she do to the scary monster, read the book Scribble and Author and find out. Bye! Hello, my name is Jez Albra. I'm sitting here in my studio in London. I'm actually working on a brand new picture book here. There's all my pens. But of course, I'm here to tell you about my picture book, which I have in my hands, Albert and Little Henry. Okay, so this is Albert. They're dogs, as you can see. This is his little brother, Henry. Albert is a storyteller, uh, like me, actually. He loves telling stories, he loves making up stories and using his imagination. And he has a great relationship with his parents. They like to hear his stories, he likes to tell them. They've got a good thing going on. Uh, but of course, when little Henry comes along, <clears throat> everything changes. Um, the parents have less time to hear Albert's stories. Problem, big problem. How does Albert feel? Well, you can imagine. There's all sorts of feelings start coming up. He wonders, what, does his parents not love him anymore? Do they love little Henry more than him? He's sad, he's angry, but most of all, he feels um, a bit lost and like his importance, his place in his life has diminished. And I use a technique in the book to show that, which is I have Albert gradually shrinking in size. So visually, I reflect a psychological condition in the images. And there's one to show you. You can look at it in your copies, which I presume you have there. Albert has become tiny. And the danger is, on the day of little Henry's christening party, he feels so lost and small and diminished, will he disappear altogether? So that's the basis of the story. I won't tell you how it ends. I hope you read it and enjoy it. And uh, enjoy selling it for me. Thank you very much. Bye. Readers will love to find out how Albert learns to feel big again, and it might just help to answer this particular what's going on question, at least for a little while.